What is going on everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we have an exciting video and that's because we have the prototype drive. Very excited to get my hands on this disc coming in at 11.5 negative one two. So I feel like this is going to be a pretty straight flyer for us but honestly I have no clue. Today we are at Arthur O. Fisher. What's going to happen is we're going to use this drive this drive driver to be our primary driver today the only other disc i have is a buzz and a luna and then my putters we're going to get to know this thing at high speeds and slow speeds and see how it flies start off by throwing a couple warm-up shots That's good enough. Let's get into this video. Hole one, 315, slight right to left wind coming at us. We're gonna try to put this drive on a little bit of Anheuser. Miss the tree, miss the tree. Oh yeah. Okay, so slight Annie comes out pretty well though. Kind of stable there. Let's get this party started. Rack up the birdies today. Let's be honest, can we come up with a better name than drive? I mean, that seems a little a little silly, but maybe that's just me. What do you guys think about the name Drive? That's what we're going to start with today, huh? Uh, that's what you're going to do to me. Have you guys got your hands on one of these things yet? I love the hand feel. It's a rather flat disc, which I like as well. You know, those 11 speeds really feel comfortable in my hand. I'll throw 12 speeds too, but once you get to 13, that was a little bit too wide for me. Hole two, 530 feet, par four, OB on the right. We're gonna try to give this a little bit of Anheuser, see if we can go the distance. <laughs> oh, oh no. All right, I told you we're gonna learn this thing. A little bit of Annie and it just held the entire way. Maybe too much Anheuser, maybe it came out a little wobbly as well. I'm not sure there, that kind of shocked me. You know what, I don't know if this is close enough for a Luna or not, but we're gonna give it a go. I keep switching putters, I'm everywhere right now with Envy's, Lunas, sometimes I just throw zones. I don't know, but my backhand putter shot needs to get better. <laughs> glide, glide. Oh yeah, that's parked. Discraft to Discraft, drive to Luna. Let's have a serious talk for a second, all right? We're close to 5,000 subscribers on this channel, so if you've been here before, if you've come to the channel a few times, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, all right? Appreciate it, you might as well. Just one click, one click. 5K coming soon. Hole three, 260, uphill. This is in short position, so really we're just trying to throw a hyzer on that right side and let this spike in. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit too straight for the hyzer amount that I put on it. That time I felt like it should have swung, but it didn't really swing though. It just kind of held hyzer and went straight. I guess I need to put it a little bit higher to really get it to swing. All right, so we're babying putts today. I truly believe this drive could be a perfect disc for hole four here, 370 feet. Just hit one up the gut and let it fade ever so slightly and you should have around a 15 to 20 footer. This is the hole we all love. I love that tree. I do love that tree. It's my favorite tree. Got this upshot here where I would preferably like to throw Luna, but because of this tree on the left, it kind of cuts off the ceiling a little bit. I feel like that Luna needs a little bit of height to get there, at least for, for how I throw it. So we're gonna go buzz. <sighs> And I think we picked the right choice. Hole five, you know the deal. Pretty easy par four here, 485 feet. It's easy as long as you don't go out of bounds on the right side. And I said it was easy, so we'll probably par it now. Feels like we got a tiny bit of headwind. So I'm just gonna try and play semi-safe and throw this on a little bit of hyzer. <laughs> okay, what the heck? Headwind definitely flips it up a little bit. Headwinds, maybe not the best idea. For the drive. Learned a thing or two about the drive and it also set us up for a Luna shot to practice. Oh, I turned it over. That's where I like the Luna right now for my putting throws because I think it is really good at showing you when you put it on Annie or Heiser or when you throw it flat. So it's going to help me, I think, a little bit more with my angles than say like an Envy. That's just me though. I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more telling. Don't get me wrong, I love the Envy. I bagged the Envy for a long time. I just recently switched to Luna. Like I said, I'm all over the place right now. 
should have dried it off. We're putting great today. We're putting great. What the heck? Full six, 275. Any 11 speed at this distance, I'm expecting to hyzer just based off the speed. So try to throw this through the gap and I think we should get a nice little skip. The hard part is distance control when you're throwing a little bit shorter with some such high speed because you don't know when it's really going to dump off on you. Be the one. Oh, got through the tree. That was a good shot. Just had to dry off the putter. Twice hurts luck. Oh yeah, we're money now. We found it. We found it. Hole seven, low ceiling. Just got to drive the drive to the basket. It just can't get low, can it? Trying to give this a run. A little bit better of a run. Oh. Hole eight, 320 feet. You haven't seen this hole before. Just kidding, you have. Usually we play the long tee pad. For the drive, you're not gonna be able to see the drive. So we're gonna play the shorter pad since it's a straight shot. Hopefully we can uh, see how this baby flies. So it's leaking off a little bit on the right side. Oh wow, I threw that into those trees. They look further than I guess they are. Regardless if that was a good shot for the basket or not, that thing was really, really straight. Maybe the straightest shot we've gotten out of it. That's one of the first times I actually got the disc flat and you can almost see that negative one turn play into effect. It started to drift off right or slide right. Kind of the same shot here, just a lot shorter at 260 feet, but once again, wide open. If I throw driver here, I like to try to hyzer it to the basket. So we'll try to throw this a little bit wider and see if we can hyzer it onto the mound. Yeah, I think that'll be really good. Yeah. Throw the drive, putt with the drive. It's as easy as that. Hole 10, 340 water on the left side, which is the only real scary part about this hole. Hopefully we don't go in the water because I would hate to end this video off short. Kind of like the idea of going over this small tree on the right side. The other day I tried that and I slipped off the tee pad. So you couldn't really see if I could get it there or not, but we'll try it again. Oh, that's in the water. I might have to run. Sit. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad I'm not strong. Otherwise that would have went in the water. No Anheuser. Hole 11, I like to call this hole Boom City. 565 feet, par four, nice and downhill. So it's a fun one to try and throw far. If you got little arms like I do, sometimes it doesn't go all that far. Okay, more like bad timing and mechanics. Oh, please stay, please Heiser. Yeah, so I feel like when we can really get onto it, it's so straight. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's almost like my Surge SS. I lost that Surge SS, so I can't compare it to it, but my Surge SS, I always called my longer Leopard 3, is just nice and straight, high-speed driver. <sighs> yeah, that was definitely the play. That's nice and easy. Full 12, 310 feet. This one's gonna be tough, because definitely a backhand turnover or a forehand, but we have a tailwind, so the tailwind's gonna stable this up, and it's probably gonna hyzer out too soon, but we'll try to put it on a harsh angle and see if we can get over there. Somewhere up there. Come on, go! Oh, I'm just not strong enough. This whole video is just about me being weak today. Oh, come on, come on. Sit down up there. Yeah, I think that'll actually be pretty good. So the disc surprised me. It has a pretty good amount of stability to it. I feel like I don't really get it to flip up the flat unless there's a headwind like we had on um, hole five. It seems like I'd be able to flip it up to flat when there's no wind, but that's really not the case, at least, you know, from the small sample size I have. Nice. There we go. Okay, I won't lie, I'm being lame and lazy. We skipped hole 14, which is an island hole. It's about 280 feet. I didn't want to do the walk around and it's also a really short hole, so I just skipped it. We walked across the field to hole 15, which is a 550 foot par four. Definitely have a little bit of a tailwind this time. So let's see if we can get this flat. See if we can get any turn out of it that way. Nope, it's so straight and stable at the same time. 
I feel like if you're looking for a neutral driver and you have the arm speed for the 11 speed, then this could be a perfect disc for you. Obviously, these are just quick thoughts here, but I feel like the drive isn't going to be your furthest disc that you've ever thrown. But on the other side of that, I feel like it's gonna be a nice control driver, maybe through the woods, something that you need to go straight with that little fade off at the end. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's good. Whole 16's in short too, but it's still 365 feet dead straight, water on the right. You know, it's kind of nice that these pins got switched around a little bit. One of the guys that does it follows me, so if you switch these around and you're watching, I really appreciate you. Kind of fun to play some different holes here. Now, I might pansy out on this shot and try to put it on a lot of hyzer, that way we don't lose it. You know, I'm okay with par here. How about we just pipe one down the middle, short. Nope. Well, look what we have here, hole 17, a dead straight shot. I think this is in B, so I think it's 300 feet. If not, it's in A, and that's 265. We got a headwind, which scares me because there is water on the right. Oh my, I, I kinda wanna just play hyzer. Hopefully it doesn't flip into the water. I played that extremely safe, and that's what I wanted to do, so don't hate me. All right, good layup, Max. We got the last hole here, 360 feet. There's a flag down there that's blowing hard right to left. Down there, I think that's what we should have. There is water left of the basket, so gotta be careful of that. Now, if that wind is actually down there, that should push. I think I threw it too flat, though. Get it. Dude, once again, hit the weight room. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video with the drive. Once again, I feel like if you get this out flat, straight out of the box, it's a straight flyer. If you have a little bit faster arm speed, you might be able to get a little subtle turn out of it. But I felt like it didn't turn for me unless I had a headwind that kind of forced it over. I am not done with this disc yet. I think I'm going to take it out to the field and compare it with other drivers with similar flight numbers, maybe faster, maybe you know, a little bit more stable drivers just to see how straight this thing is. So stay tuned for that video in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.